Hi everyone, this is Cheryl Allen, and welcome to Cheryl Allen's Empower Yourself. I hope you all are doing well. And today's video, I'm just gonna show you a hobby you can pick up um, either for yourself, just to give you peace, or you and your significant other can do this together. Uh, I love to watch my husband in here smiling and doing a little dance and getting excited when he sees a new tomato. Like, I get probably more excited than him. <laughs> we have a little baby tomato right here today that I found. I, you know, it just is so exciting. So, look at all of these beautiful tomatoes. We, I would guess we have a crop of about 50 tomatoes all together. Um, so my tips for growing tomatoes, uh, before we had planted them back in the garden, which I'm also gonna show you our garden, but they just do better in buckets. So what we did is we got these buckets and they're actually not that expensive. They look it, but they're plastic. Um, they just look really cool. They look wood. Um, poke you some holes in the very bottom sides so the excess moisture can drain out because too much moisture will mess your tomatoes up. And also, don't, um, if you can, don't grow uh, homemade <coughs> tomatoes. Go to a nursery and get heirloom tomatoes from heirloom seeds because they're non-GMO. Even if you grow your tomatoes yourself and you think you're growing organic, you're really not because you're growing uh, GMO seeds most times. So like this tomato here, <laughs> it's called a German striped tomato and he was teeny teeny and literally in like three days blew up to this big tomato we just noticed. Um, we have mortgage lifters, German striped, black creme. Uh, I, I mean, just some odd ones we had never heard of we decided to, to grow. And then, of course, the little cocktail tomatoes there. I love cherry tomatoes. We have a squirrel. Um, can't really do much about him. He, he's um, helped himself to some tomatoes, which is, a, I guess it's fine. But... The tips that I have for you is, since you can't control your soil, make sure you don't use miracle Grow soil. This is a mistake I made before. Um, your plant will grow huge and beautiful and bushy, and you'll get mm, no tomatoes. You'll even get blossoms, like, you know, maybe, <laughs> but they'll fall off and you won't get a tomato. So the best thing to use is just garden soil and peat moss mixture. And then we have found, just by trial and error, this fertilizer here. It's, it's this fish fertilizer. Not just the tomatoes, but everything I'm growing is just gone insane with this stuff. This is the gold stuff right here. I also use Osmocote um, too, and that is another thing that is, it doesn't burn your plants and I, I try really just to use organic stuff. Manure is, is um, I should have mentioned that. Man, mix some manure in when, when you plant and also um, just add a little when you need, when your plants need a little boost. We've had some cold nights. We always cover the plants, but you know, still they've taken a little hit. So that um, that's some tips. Always make sure your tomatoes are supported because they um, will just keep growing tall and give you big beautiful heavy fruit if they have the support to do it and I'm telling you this is the best hobby for you to do with your friend or significant other just or even by yourself it gives you so much peace I love to go in my garden in the back which I'm gonna show you and just Stand there, take my shoes off, and just connect to the earth. I do it at the beach too. It's just you just feel the energy, and it's just so cleansing. It gives you so much peace. So, if you have any questions about the tomatoes, you can leave them in the um, comment section below, and I will gladly 
um, answer them. You can tell we've, we you know, with lockdown and everything, we like, we built a deck. <laughs> we've planted so many plants. This is a, um, a weeping hibiscus, my geraniums, <laughs> and take you back to my garden. This is grapes that's growing on my fence. Uh, of course, you can tell they are turning colors and falling off because it is that time of year. But because I am in Florida and it's still warm, it's dying and growing at the same time. If you can um, wrap your head around that one. <laughs> so here is more grapes. It's still producing. It's, it's so funny um, when I first started getting really ill with my autoimmune problems I really let my garden go and the grapes had caught on to these trees and you can literally see see those vines hanging down those are the remnants of the grape vines the birds were so happy they were had a nest up there and they were just eating grapes in their nest like must be nice and it also caught over and made a canopy over the whole garden to the top of that tree. It was really actually kind of cool, but I couldn't get to my grapes. So what you want to do is when you see these little, these little new um, sprouts come out, you want to tuck them in. So what I do is I just tuck them and weave and because that's where your new grapes are going to come from. So yeah. There's just grapes everywhere back here. And then I also have my little fairy lights and stuff all in here. So at night, they're solar, everything lights up. Oh, it's so beautiful. I will definitely do a nighttime video. So here's the garden. It's so special to me. My daughter moved out this year and this is the pathway we laid down years and years ago when she was around four years old. We found these all around the yard. Um, because I have a huge, huge yard. And the person that lived here before us had these just all over the place. So we just kind of made a pathway, you know, and it's still here. <laughs> so over here is my herb section. I have oregano, which is a great ground cover. Um, it does so well. Some herbs are hard to grow. Oregano is not one of them. Uh, this is spearmint here, and since my hysterectomy, I have hormonal issues that are so fun. So, eating the spearmint or making a tea, and just taking the leaves and putting them in an empty tea bag, um, you can make spearmint tea. But I just now at this point, I just break a sprig off every morning and eat it. Um, it tastes good. It's spearmint and it levels your hormones and helps with hot flashes and all of that. Now for the first week or two, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> but then after that, you're gonna say, oh my goodness, like I feel better, you know? You'll notice a significant, significant difference. <laughs> and over here, chamomile, we have rosemary, we have sage, which I love to sage my house and I also use it to cook with, aloe, and of course my little mushroom statues. <laughs> um, I kept my scarecrows in here because the birds, you know, I love birds. I keep the seed out for them, but they want to come back here. Here are um, turnip greens. And um, I'm sorry, they're, they're mustard greens. I'm sorry. These are Japanese giant mustard greens in the front and greens just grow so well in my garden that's one of my husband's first experimental tomato plants um when i he he came in here and decimated my garden and said watch what i can do <laughs> and he poured all this miracle grow soil back here which we had to dig it all out and because <laughs> he didn't believe me that tomatoes don't don't produce in it so anyway we left this just <laughs> It actually has some, some tomatoes on it we found this morning, though. So, hey, <laughs> these are my tomatoes that I planted. These are cherry tomatoes, which I just love cherry tomatoes. And then here's lavender here. We have okra. And these are all peppers. 
That's my parsley. It's actually in an herb box, but I put it in here because I had to cover the whole garden when we had a, um, a cold night the other night. I have um, peppers, chili peppers, red hot chili peppers, <laughs> and green bells, and red bell peppers, and sweet banana peppers back there. Here's my eggplants. I gave, I love to give stuff to my mother-in-law because she loves to cook and, she, you know, she used to go all the way to Georgia to get greens. So now I'm, I'm just growing them. Here's cabbage. It's so good and it's so good for you. I take it, I saute it in a little bit of olive oil with onion. Oh my gosh, it's just so good. Kale. Um, I'm gonna plant some more because this is all about to get eaten. Um, we have squash, which is flowering, and I have a few little baby squashes in there. Um, yeah, these babies are just so beautiful. And I, I have one little tomato down there somewhere. But when I, I seen all the, I saw all the little baby tomatoes this morning, and now I can't find them. <laughs> but they're there somewhere. <laughs> and then here, I had eggplants, literally. Eggplant is one of the easiest things to grow, I found. It was, they were growing and touching the ground. And um, I picked them, gave them to my mother-in-law to cook. Um, so I have a few, that's the big one on there. And then there's a few little teenies that are starting, like this one here. But basically, oh, and here's my green beans. This is the second crop, because we ate the first crop. They're um, Kentucky Wonder. Now, if you don't have a nursery near you, um, you can order from Gurney's. It's a seed company and everything they have is heirloom. And I really recommend um, growing heirloom seeds. Now, at the end of this harvest, I am going to be removing the seeds from everything and saving them for next year. Um, if you guys are really interested in gardening and you need some heirloom seeds, I. I will actually make a video when I have them and I am happy to mail you a few um, you know keep the love going <laughs> but it's something about growing something and nurturing it and watching it grow every day and it just it brings peace to your heart I've lost so many people I lost my aunt um, We've lost a couple best friends, you know, to this. And then I've battled myself because I, I had it and I have um, lingering effects that are really, really hard on me. Um, so just to come back here every day and watch my husband literally, he, he'll be back here shaking his butt and singing and clipping. And, he, and it makes my heart just so full because that man has been through a lot lately. He's losing his dad right now and it's just it's just so much. But you have to find a happy place. You have to find something that brings peace to your soul. And I, I, I really cannot express to you enough how much joy a garden will bring you. That's if you I don't know if you can see the okra in the center. But yeah, I, I, I highly recommend starting a garden. If you don't really know what to do, you know, just grab a couple plants from Home Depot, dig out a little spot. Don't use miracle Grow soil. <laughs> use some, um, some garden soil and some manure. Mix, mix like a quarter manure with three quarters garden soil and a little peat moss doesn't hurt you know, and, and to the gr ground that you're gonna plant and just put your plants in the ground and they're just gonna grow and grow and grow. And as long as you show them love and come out every day and check on them and water them, you're gonna have a beautiful garden. It That's all there really is to gardening. And I literally come out here and sing to my plants. I know I'm weird. We have these weird holes pop up um, everywhere. And we found out, see right there? As soon as it got cold, I found out they're beetles. They, they, you know, dig under and burrow under. And there's another one here. And then they eat your plants too while they're under there. So I, and as much as I hate to do anything um, that's not organic, um, I went ahead and let my husband put a little bit of seven dust down in the holes because um, I didn't want to lose all my stuff. 
um, but yeah, I do all organic. And what I like to use for pests is it's called neem oil. I love my butterflies. If you guys know I have a butterfly garden in the front. Um, if you've been watching my channel a lot, if not, you can scroll down and, and, um, I have a video of my, bu my butterfly garden is what it's called. Um, I don't want to kill caterpillars. They love the grape leaves. Um, they munch the heck out of them. It's not going to hurt my grapes and I don't want to have anything that's going to kill them. So I'm very careful with pesticides and I don't want it in my children's bodies or my own either. So neem oil is, um, it's organic. I think it's called Captain Jack's. They sell it at Home Depot and Lowe's. It does wonders and, um, you're not going to poison yourself. <laughs> So I also plant in trees and you know, you never know what with things the way they are right now in this country, you don't know what's going to happen. So it, it's very important too to have, you know, some food growing somewhere in your yard. And so, and I'm also a fruit, a fruit tree freak. So I've, I've got soursop, avocado, that's an orange tree. I have mangoes over there. Um, this is a coconut palm that actually has coconuts that will be on it. I have banana trees all over here. So, um, yeah, excuse the mess in my yard. <laughs> we did a cleanup. I get, that's going to be a raging fire, <laughs> a fire pit. But yeah, and that's my little happy spot, my deck up there. I love it. It's so nice. Um, but yep, you could tell that we were, uh, we, we were busy during quarantine. So this is how I'm going to end the video. And like I said, it's just nothing more fulfilling. And I just wanted to share with you something that brings me so much joy and peace. Start out small. Uh, you know, I recommend greens are super easy to grow and peppers. Bugs don't like peppers. So grow some like bell peppers or whatever peppers you like. Herbs are always great. Bugs don't mess with them either and you can use them to cook with. Um, I took all of my herbs and cut each one um, and put them in little mason jars and used twine, wrapped it around the lid and put a little card through the twine of what it is and inside wrote what to use it for. And I gave my mother-in-law a gift of all of the jars. Such an awesome gift idea. It's different. It's from the heart. Um, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, any questions you have, leave them down in the uh, comment section below. I will answer them if I can. And I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas season. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And please give this video a thumbs up. It really would help me. Bye-bye.